So yeah, we're here with uh, Jeremy at Two Notes Audio. How are you, how are you man? Oh, I'm doing all right. Love that guitar. <laughs> it's a very subdued, calm, mellow guitar. I'm feeling the mellow energy, for right? sure, for sure. Uh, yeah, so what have you got to show for us, Jeremy? So we have today uh, a new piece of software which is going to be the eventual replacement for our Wall of Sound plug-in platform. Uh, but before, you know, Wall of Sound, everybody knows Wall of Sound is a cabinet simulation plug-in with, you know, some very basic post-effects, uh, power amp modeling, things like that. But later this year, we're going to be launching something called Genome. Genome is basically an entire new sort of ecosystem or like a framework for pretty much all things guitar or bass inside of your computer now. So not only would it do traditional things that Two Notes is known for, like cabinets with movable microphones, you know, dynamic impulse responses, things like that. But now, it's also able to do entire full chains with an amp simulation as well. Um, and all kinds of different studio effects that you can use, pretty much anything you can think of. Different modulation effects, different delays. Uh, we even have the hardware post-processing section from our Capture X hardware load box products. Uh, pretty much whatever you could think of to do, you could probably do. Uh, you can also route things through this entire new mixer system we have with its own busing network, turn things on and off as you need them. It seems like a sort of a production production level. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually aimed sort of at pretty much any level of the market. I mean, it has it has uses for everybody, pretty much. And uh, it, it could be something as simple as just running a cabinet simulation, where you, it's just, you know, let's say you're running your amp into a load box, and then you just want a cabinet on the end of it, you know, maybe with a reverb or something like after it. Or it could get as complicated as a multiple amp multiple cabinet, multiple microphones set up like this. Uh, inside of the, these sort of flows, uh, you can actually sort of split the paths. So if you needed to split things, merge things back together, create new submixes before your actual mixer, it's really just a, a, a totally open system at this point. Um, it's going to be expanded over time and it's sort of very similar to how Wall of Sound was in that you could purchase cabinets online, you could audition them before buying them, but now it's going to be amps, effects, all types of different things, things that will be added and things that will be added over a long term period. So it's not really as much just launching a plugin, it's more like we're launching an environment where we can keep adding future processing options and just all kinds of different things. And is it, does it take a MIDI input? Are you able to have like controllers? Like so the actual full-blown retail version of this is going to not only have automatable parameters and MIDI control, but it's also going to have programmable macros. So if you're using a live controller maybe with expression pedals, let's say, you can tie several parameters of several different processors in here together from zero to 100 and everything in between and put it down to a pedal or to a rotary encoder or you know set it up as an automation lane in your, in your workstation of choice. So it's not just a studio tool. I mean, Wall of Sound wasn't a studio tool entirely either, but that's where it's being used. This is something where it, it's not relegated to just being at home on your computer. I mean, if you're doing gigs, you want to take a laptop or something out with you have the entire system with a MIDI, a MIDI floorboard. It's able to do that pretty much just the same. Excellent, man. Yeah, should we hear what it sounds like? Can we hear, can we hear a bit of playing? Yeah, of course.
That's, yeah. Like, so right now the beta is going to have maybe, I think right now we're at one of each base and amp model. That's going to be expanding pretty much as this keeps getting tested and rolled out. Um, basically expect it to be expanded immensely. Great. And how much is it going to retail for? I actually don't know. Uh, but it goes into beta, public beta, in September, um, which you can actually enter online now to join that and be notified and send download links and whatnot. What's the web address? It goes fully live, finished build for, for sale, uh, I think, in October, actually. So, yeah. Can we hear a couple more sounds from it? Can, can we hear a couple more sounds from it? Yeah, Maybe of course, of course. Uh, sure.